you know, Tinkercad's way better than SketchUp. It's because it's based on, you know, 3D modeling and stuff. So basically, it's it's based on where you can basically use shapes more. Awesome. You know, SketchUp is so much better because you can be so much more precise. I mean, in Tinkercad, you're literally just playing around with shapes. In SketchUp, you're actually drawing shapes like an architect would, and you're basically making everything way more precise. You guys know you can settle this debate once and for all properly just by arguing it out in your cases like actually like you know properly, man. Hello, Freedom Richard Maniac here. And today, basically, I am going to debate again whether uh, Tinkercad or SketchUp is the better 3D modeling software for people designing models to be 3D printed. Now, let's go over basically basically what these two uh, so piece, uh, pieces of software are. Okay, so, Tinkercad is a cloud-based a uh, programming, uh, cloud-based modeling um, software and uh, program. And so what it allows you to do is to save things in the cloud, right? I'm in Chrome right now, Chrome. Um, and basically everything is saved through my uh, username um, and basically, uh, all of these designs have been saved through count, uh, countless, uh, computer restarts, um, deletions of, uh, uh, Google Chrome, and all this. So basically, that, that is what Tinkercad is, and that is probably one of the most starking differences between these two programs. Now, SketchUp... is a very different software. Here is a mock version of a MakerBot Replicator 2X uh, build plate. And it uses a very different, here am I uh, zooming in and out, in and out. Um, here it uses a way different sort of layout where it's uh, basically just kind of throws you into, uh, well, first of all, when you uh, enter the program, you hit templates and you start. Uh, basically, what what the starting difference I would say is how the program works. Right. What you do is you draw a polygon, and then you basically use this tool and pull up. Boom! I've just made a square, or I've made a cuboidal shape, right? You pull all these shapes out, you can get some funky looking designs, up and down, you can go down, up, pull out. If I pull out from every point, I'll get some sort of cross looking funky thing. Go to the other side, I can pull. But since I'm pretty sure these are fl flat, I can get rid of lines, but the eraser tool, boom, that whole side's gone. I can go inside. But as you see, this model is definitely not one designed for people who are going to be uh, 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 3D modeling. Uh, uh, Definitely not going to be for people who just want to make models of things. Oop. As it's more of a drawing platform, so I would assume that it would uh, attract way more architects and uh, drawing-based uh, uh, professions. But yeah, that is basically what SketchUp is about. Uh, let's go back to Tinkercad which basically is sort of a different new take on it.
I'm recording. In the video? Yes. So basically. Edit it. Okay, so we are in a a design work plane for Tinkercad. And so basically what happens is uh, you can drag shapes on and you can manipulate the shapes, you can uh, elongate them, make them shorter, drag it, pull it in, push it down, and it gives you automatically detailed measurements as you pick. Right, if I hit that white button, boom, 44 and 38. And obviously this is in millimeters because America is like the only freaking country that uses the metric system. Uh, we can change this to inches for us Americans. And boom, we get some weird funky decimals, but we delete that. Boom, we've got a cube, a one cubic inch cube right here. Um, uh, you can add shapes, like let's add a pyramid. We can move this up, move it over. Uh, we might want to zoom in for this. But already you can see it's 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 a bit more intuitive and it's a bit more based on 3D shapes and modeling based on shapes rather than drawings. And I believe that is what the difference is between these two programs. It is the difference between stacking shapes and making uh, objects and drawing things and making uh, objects. You're both making objects. It's just the process and the way uh, it works, and the way it's intu in intuitively, intuitively designed. Uh, we can group them, and now they are one solid piece. The dimensions follow both the width and the height we can rotate on all three dimensions. Uh, we can go specific degrees and we can uh, do everything like that. But the question is, what is, what are the, be what, what, which one is better or worse for 3D printing? Now people would argue that this is better for 3D printing because you can make way more precise uh, things. Uh, okay. But because it is a drawing based platform, right, I make a square, then I pull on it, dang it, ah. That's uh, another funny thing, these axes, what might look like a rectangle very clearly isn't. And so you must keep that in mind, which is something to be kind of, uh, something to be aware of. Okay, but I've made something, it's gray, pull it up, pull this out, I can, I wish, right? Um, I can zoom out, zoom in, I can erase this line, boom. I can go in and I've just drawn something and pulled it into the third dimension. Okay, that is essentially what this is. Drawing things and pulling it up. Okay. But this, what it does is it focuses on shapes and joining them to make cooler things. Like I can put that semicircle in, group it. Oh look, I've got maybe a chicken head or something, right? Or I've got a train engine or something, right? So it's the clash between drawing and pulling into the third dimension and shapes and pulling into the third dimension. And I must say, I think Tinkercad wins in this battle. Because as much as this allows for precise measurements and stuff, as you can see, you can hit ruler. 
and check the uh, di dr uh, dimensions of things. Uh, that was. Uh, let me check that again. Seven inches. You could basically still do that with this. And so I believe Tinkercad wins in the end. Based on intuitive design, almost child friendliness, I would I would like to add. And based on its sort of nice clean atmosphere. And the fact that it uses the cloud. Which means you don't have to rely on files natively on your computer. You can totally just delete you ruin your computer and still have take your cat files. And another cool thing is export. Can I export this as a, a SDL file and print it? So I go to export. It's a 3D model. OBJ, fine. But wait a minute. There's no SDL. Now my slicer can take an OBJ file. But it's not preferred. If I go here and click, uh, oh shoot, Ooh. and I click uh, export, boom, STL OBJ for 3D printing. I think it says that right there. Um, this, I think, is the more appropriate one to use for. Um, for, uh, for, uh, 3D modeling, as it has a more intuitive design, takes in shapes rather than drawings. Boom. And allows, and allows, and allows for both, uh, standards of, uh, exportation. Yeah, I think in this one, I, yeah, I think in this one, Tinkercad wins. Like if you like me making new videos based on my old videos. Comment below what new videos I should rehash. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my uh, future videos.